welcome to my channel today i will be making some bile and crush plantain turn plantain this is already peel and wash and edo all right i'm going to boil this plantain and the edo and mash it with butter then i'm going to make a gravy with this bell pepper onion garlic tomato carrots and scallion and this is a tomato sauce I'm going to be using. All right. And um, some fried chicken. One side. Stay tuned. First, I must let you know that the water is on that fire. And um, I'm going to start by putting the edo first to boil. When they started to boil, like for in within five minutes or so then i'm gonna add the plantain because i'm gonna put everything in one pot and let it boil and then i'm gonna mash it separately all right i'm gonna add some salt to this all right stay tuned yes um this is the chicken already seasoned up so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna do some mustard fried chicken all right so I'm gonna add the, the mustard remember this chicken I already seasoned up the mustard is the last thing that I'm gonna be adding into this chicken here. all Remember that whenever you're cooking chicken, the longer you season it up and left it or leave it, is the better the taste. All right? I like to leave my chicken for marinade for two, three days, you know? At least the least is a day, but not right away. That's why whenever I buy my meat, I season it up and leave it all right that's why whenever I do a video you guys don't see me seasoning up meat but as I said I'm gonna leave the this, um, the ingredients in the description bar all right so why is the, the edo boiling I'm gonna pour some um you see it you see it yeah mustard fried chicken I'm gonna um Put all the ingredients that I use into this description bar below but this is fine thyme pepper flakes um, cayenne pepper salt seasoned salt ginger and garlic powder paste that I use all is in here all right there too so I just put some oil into this canary here and this is the um, milk that I'm going to duck in the chicken in and then the, use the flour, alright? Same method. One egg. You could use more than one of your. It depends on how much you want it to use. I only going to be using one egg for this menu today, alright? I'm going to beat up the egg in this um, bowl. This is like a cup of um, evaporated milk. And if you got the milk powder, you can use that too. Also, just beat it up well. And then you're going to dump the chicken into this milk before you start to um, then dust it off in the flour, right, and then fry. I remember when this oil get hot and I put down the first set of chicken into this oil, I'm going to turn the heat down low so that I can let this chicken cook in and out, you know. And sometimes it, it cook the chicken and it didn't cook through to the bowl. A lot of people can relate. Right. 
So the, the oil is at in. In the meanwhile, I still have the uh, Edo boiling there. Um, So now I'm gonna add the um, plantain into the water also, right? As it started to boil. So this is the plantain and the edo that boiling, all right? So the oil is hot, and I'm going to start by ducking the chicken into the um, flour, I mean the milk, and then, and I, I don't think I had mentioned, this is some chicken leg and chicken breast, right? Make sure say so you dissolve the excess flour of this chicken before you add it into the pot, all right? chicken breast so I'm gonna continue doing this this process until I finish frying all the chicken all right Yeah, so this is the butter I'm gonna cut this is two ounces of butter I'm gonna mash this at all finish boiling right. once I have to uh, put a little black pepper in here and this is optional which you can still fry it. I'm going to taste it after I finish mashing it. I see if it wants any salt because I boil it with salt. But you know, sometimes you still have to add a little more salt.
That's a little salt. Not much. That's a pinch of salt because remember if you're using this um you're gonna be putting gravy on this this mash edo. Right? So I'm gonna take this now and put it in a bowl or a plate or whatever to one side. Alright? Smooth. This is the mashed potato. Now I'm going to turn the chicken. I'm going to turn it over one more time and let it cook one more time over to the opposite side. You know? Next two minutes, and then I'm gonna take it out. Right. the mashed thorn plantain. I'm going to put some black pepper. Optional. And some salt. Just a pinch. And this is the first time I'm going to use a whisk. Let's we'll see if I could mash this thorn plantain. I'm 
wash it first then like this and then I'm gonna some butter Let's put the butter now half of this right two ounces Let's do that. Nothing's gonna change my love from you. You only know by now how much I love you. One thing you can be sure of. I got a lot more than you. Nothing's gonna change my love from you. You only know by now. So now the whisk can do nothing, so I gotta use the marshal, you know, and see how much I can mash this. And this is if I get a, I put it in a pong like a matter. It would be much better, you know. But the same when you're younger, mommy, you got so granny. Mm -hmm. Come in. I have to swing the bowl like this. I'm thinking that I can gotta put some more butter. You see. Put some more butter, and then I'm gonna fry the last set of chicken. Ooh. Let me taste it. Mm -hmm. Got some more butter. It's not as smooth like the um, like the edo. That's why we have a more amato. Right, but it's gonna be a nice buttery. Or I put some more salt because it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Buttery mash, thorn plantain. Try this guy. This is gonna eat good with the whole fried chicken and some gravy. This is it. Mash turn plantain with better butter mash turn plantain. That's what it's name. Right. So this is the last set of the chicken. I'm gonna be frying. Right. Here comes the time. When you hear a certain call and the world has come together as one, there are people dying. Oh, you're a fool. Let me 
standing there by me. Look at Last but not least, this is the oil. I'm gonna start by frying a bit of tomato. onion and garlic bell pepper okay. oh. up, up. Oh. Oh. I'm to make it for now Put a little water in here and let it boil up. Mm -hmm. Put one cube in it. One cube, so one cube, one cube, one cube, one cube. And I'm gonna let the cube melt. All right. We'll be back. I'm gonna do a sprinkle of the cayenne pepper. Woo. And then I'm gonna stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Everything them still in here. The cube and melt completely as yet. That is what I was trying to stir up. Stir up. Stir up. Right? It needs salt. It needs some salt. Mm -hmm. Right. That's supposed to be it. So let it boil up. Boil and then boil down a little. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stay tuned. Now this is it. Gravy comes that in. Take a nice gravy. All right. This is it. I'm gonna place the gravy now on the mash corn planting and the edos. All right. This is the mash, thorn planting, and edos. 
and the gravy. All right.